This past year, we lost one of the most brilliant and influential minds of our time. John Forbes Nash Jr. was the Nobel Prize winning American mathematician who was also the subject of the Academy Award winning film, A Beautiful Mind, in which he was masterfully portrayed by Russell Crowe. Take a look. C of S equals C of T. You do realize this flies in the face of 150 years of economic theory. Yes, I do, sir. That's rather presumptuous, don't you think? It is, sir. Well, Mr. Nash, with a breakthrough of this magnitude, I'm confident you will get any placement you like. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome one of the finest actors of our generation, Russell Crowe. You know, the first time I met John, we discussed tea. He surprised me on the, the film set at Princeton. And I asked him if he would like me to get him a, a coffee or perhaps a cup of tea. And his answer, some four minutes long, was complex, geographically specific, and deeply considered. Amongst points he briefly touched on was the difference between northern and southern India, and by extension, Sri Lanka. Uh, acidity, color, strength, and palate. A cascade of fascinating thoughts and observations. A conversation that I would draw from later in the shoot while doing the Princeton faculty pen scene. It gave me great insight into the man I was portraying. It bonded us and he would visit the set, pencil in hand, quite regularly after that. I wish John was here tonight just to have another experience with him over a cup of tea. To join me in honoring one of today's leading mathematicians, he is a leader in technology, the CEO of Google. Please welcome Sundar Pichai. Thanks, Russell. Mathematics is a realm of pure ideas, and yet building almost anything practical, from a sundial to a satellite, can be impossible without it. Math is technology's DNA. This year's laureate works with concepts that are a mystery to most of us. And if history is anything to go by, one day his ideas could change our lives. Since high school, I've been enamored of mathematics. I'm not that fast at you know, manipulating equations. So it did take me a long time to find the right niche. Three-dimensional topology is the study of three-dimensional spaces. The goal is to make something that looks very complicated and extract out the simplest aspects. The first thing that a topologist does with a space is cut it up into pieces and think about how those pieces fit together. Playing with Legos is a good metaphor for that. You can encode complex ideas in something you can visualize, bypassing the need for equations. These techniques were the keys to my breakthrough. To solve the problem that hasn't been solved, you need a new idea. An artist has a brush and a paint. A mathematician has theorems of improved to four, and the creativity comes in combining those in surprising ways. These problems were worked on by many people. The contribution we made was like a cherry on top of the sundae. It's very satisfying to feel like part of the mathematical history and be able to contribute something that others can build upon. That's the beauty of mathematics. for spectacular contributions to topology and geometric group theory, including work on the solutions of tameness, virtual Hawken, and virtual fibering conjectures. 
The Breakthrough Prize is awarded to Ian Agle. Cleaning houses with my mother when I was younger motivated me to pursue a career which was intellectually challenging. I couldn't imagine pursuing any other career than math. The thrill of discovering something new is exhilarating. In explaining it to others, I get to relive that moment. That a theorem will live to eternity is satisfying. Thank you.